Sister Anna is here with us this week. I'll be working on week one's entry in the faith-based monthly subscription box titled Patience. I'll be using scriptures from this modern creative journaling Bible, The Promises of God, and I'm using items from Michelle's faith-based sticker shop, Ben Von Alley. Use my PR code Vicky20 to save on your purchases. So take out your devotional book, Bible, journal, planner, and join me in week one's entry. This week's scriptures and focus scriptures are long suffering, 1 Peter 2, 19 through 23, fruit of the spirit, Galatians 5, 17, Galatians 5, 22. Why our patience is tested, James 1, 2 through 4, and Romans 8, 25. Long suffering is defined as enduring wrongs or difficulties, enduring pain or unhappiness without complaint, enduring injury, trouble or provocation long and patiently, the power to withstand hardship or stress. No matter which word you use, long suffering is a word that best describes this experience that one endures according to Galatians 5.22. At one time or another, you may have experienced the long suffering Apostle Paul describes in this verse, but the most important thing to remember that this is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. This is the Christ-like character that is produced and developed in Christians as they allow the Holy Spirit to direct and influence their lives. Well, if you've experienced long-suffering, patience, you've probably questioned why. God, why do I have to go through this? Whether you've endured a long period of sickness in your body or that of a loved one, gone through a season or seasons of hardship or one disaster after another, we have all asked the question, why? Scripture is clear and states that our endurance will develop character in us. This is the Christ-like character we spoke of earlier. This Christ-like character in us will produce hope. This hope is a confidence from God concerning his promises, which are sure and leave no room for doubt because it is based on his word, Romans 5, 4. When we stand firm on God's word, this hope becomes a reality because we serve the God of hope, Romans 15, 13, and his promises are yes and amen. 2 Corinthians 1.20. And let's not forget that while we are standing on his word and hopeful, we are developing the resemblance of Christ as we endure. Others will take notice of our sufferings, but they will see the Christ-like character being developed in us as we go through it with patience, not angry, intolerant, or complaining. In the book of James 1.4, We are told to let patience have its perfect work in us because when the work is done, we will be perfect, complete, and we will lack nothing. This does not mean that we will be a perfect people, but it speaks of a maturing that takes place in us, a transformation that is produced with the help of Holy Spirit. We must remember that difficulties allow God to test and prove the sincerity of our faithfulness to him. God recognizes our faith and has confidence in our commitment. Remember, there is a spiritual growth that is taking place in us. So stay strong, my friend. Blessings. And here is my week one's entry. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Thanks for spending your time with me. Until next time, I hope today your heart desires. Latest.